Shapeshifters, thank you so much for coming into 978 Dance the Studio. Round of applause, please. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Woo. So kind. Fresh from the Glitterbot stage at Tomorrowland. How was that? You've literally just come off stage. Literally, yeah. Um, so I've got that kind of post gig depression <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, this that's is a safe weird. space for you right let it all yeah. out it's, you know one minute one minute you're on stage in front of people and then the next minute you're out in here and you're like no, in front of these two idiots <laughs> like what now and it's very bright in here <laughs> yeah, as well it is, sorry um, but yeah it was I'd, I'd say like last year I, I was lucky enough to play last year as well um, and it was incredible mm. uh, it's such a groovy room you know yeah. it's literally like a club in there um and it's in the middle of this festival so it's, yeah it's pretty amazing and it was really cool as soon as you walked in you recognized soho soho garden mm. yeah a glitter box is now has a residency there that's uh, so cool yeah i think we're there again in november nice. yeah what do you think about dubai i've been playing there a long time i was there when peppermint were doing parties yeah at the uh, what's the canadian hotel the um one of the first hotels fairmont there you the go. Fairmont. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow yeah. um and they were in the the, the the ballroom at the fairmont they were amazing and i've been playing there ever since so that must be 12 years all right speaking of uh, 12 years ago or a little bit longer than that actually lola's theme mm. i just saw a bunch of news stories it seems like everybody just started remixing it is there some sort of story with that did the rights just become available or <laughs> what what's happening with that funny enough i've just given the rights to defect it because it was originally with emi oh so we did a recut version last year um and remastered it in purple disco machine did a mix um and a couple of others um dr packer um but it was just to kind of reintroduce it um it is 15 years yesterday it was released wow the birthday all right how does that feel <laughs> old <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, 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 it, it just amazes me that record just keeps going and going and going it is insane isn't it um, how do you feel you must have played it today yes. what was it like when you played it is it a different reaction every time does it get you every time with the reaction from the crowd do you know what now it's it's part of it's part of a set so luckily I've got other records recently that have, have done very well as well and it's nice to have three or four records that get a reaction throughout the set yeah. and, I, and I always leave Lola's theme until pretty much near, course, the, near the end because it's the, it's the big banger yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it still gets as big a reaction with a new audience as it did with the old audience so, yeah. I actually have a question about the set so we were just out there mm. and we came back in kind of like you except we don't have real work to do you have real work uh, we were just having fun and I noticed so somebody had kind of fake snow that they pumped out. How much do you have to do with that? Is that all your call of what happens externally in, in on the stage with your set, or is that all Tomorrowland? Um, no, Glitterbox very much has a production. Um, oh. So there will be confetti, there will be mirror balls, there will be drag, nice. and there will be dancers. You know, that is that is a standard Glitterbox affair, and it's always a big production with, with the music. How much input do you have? Like, if you decided, hey, I want to throw out pizzas, to, can they can they make that happen? <laughs> um, I will tell them when I'm going to play certain records. And I'll say this is probably going to be a confetti moment and <laughs> someone will go and press the button. Um, but I personally don't press the confetti button. I wish I could. That'd be amazing. Now, oh man, uh, can you imagine <laughs> yeah. just having the button there that's just labeled be. confetti? It's on the Pioneer desk, like, you know, confetti button. I, I'm, I'm going to put it in my rider. Yeah, you yeah. should. Um, so you are, you know, you've been in the industry ages. You must have had a lot of fun. <laughs> you make me sound really old. Well, you said it first. <laughs> it's true. But you must have had fun. Tell us about your fun times. I'm still having fun. You know what? I think I'm having more fun now than I have before. Because I've been through that, you know, first time fun. If that makes sense. Okay. You're, le you're learning. It's all new. It's all big time and all that kind of thing. Where And then you kind of go away for a little while and then you come back and you kind of appreciate it more. Does mm. that make sense? Do you have a yeah. different bedtime now than you did back then? <laughs> oh, well, I have a one-year-old son, so I definitely have oh, yeah. a different bedtime, yeah. Amazing. Playing Lola's theme to him, just to get him. <laughs> He's, he prefers life as a dance floor, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, we are pumped to have you in the studio, and we're so excited to have you back in Dubai soon, uh, yeah. November. November the 7th. Oh, okay, November the 7th. <laughs> Can we confirm and that? <laughs> yeah. That is the day. Also, are, are we going to have a baby shapeshifters junior in the mix well, in the future? Do you, do you know what? If, if you just know Simon, you know Simon Dunmore, who's the head of Defected in Glitterbox? Yeah. He's brought his boys, 15 and 18, just played Mambo's yesterday and played at um, Solomon's Yard in, in um, Camden. 
they're amazing wow 15 so I, I know I look at his kids and kind of think yes yeah <laughs> yeah amazing so hopefully he gets the bug as well okay cool amazing give it up for shapeshifters thank you Woo!